With many retail businesses in Colorado closing up for a while, we're starting to see these stark images, boarded up storefronts to prevent break-ins while the businesses aren't being staffed. But it does, I know, give an unsettling impression there. And empty shelves at grocery stores has been frustrating for the shoppers and also for the workers trying to stock the shelves to stay ahead of the rush. Endeavor 7's Ivan Rodriguez spoke to shoppers just trying to get the basics for staying home. In one of Governor Polis's recent updates, he asked people not to buy and hoard items across Colorado grocery stores. Still, many shelves remain empty. Pasta's gone, there's like a lot of the rice, there, there's a lot of things that just aren't there. Anuradha Kumar says although some products are out of stock, there is still enough essential food items people can choose from. You know, it hasn't been too bad. I feel like the things that I actually need, I can get. And if there's some things that aren't there, it's not really a big deal if I don't have them. Early morning shoppers taking advantage of senior hours say the stores are packed with people. With the help of my daughter-in-law, it was great. I couldn't have done it by myself because it is crowded with seniors. You know, it's a bunch of us. So I don't know where that product comes from, but it's it's pretty surprising to see everybody taking things off the shelf in pre preparation for what might happen. Recently, King Super said people were buying items faster than they could restock the shelves because of people panic buying. They made it clear they're far from running out of groceries. Kumar says she's more worried about getting sick. Yeah, it is scary just to like, in, in case somebody in my family gets sick or, or I get sick or, you know, that's, that's what I'm worried about. It's not so much the supplies. To help avoid unnecessary contact with others, Governor Polis also recommends people limit grocery store visits to once a week. Ivan Rodriguez, Denver 7.